Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, the place where we delve into fascinating topics that spark our curiosity. Today, we're unwrapping the story behind one of the most celebrated holidays around the world, Christmas. Join me on this journey as we explore the origin and meaning behind the festivities we hold dear. Our story begins in the ancient world, where various cultures embrace the winter season with festivals and rituals. One significant influence on the Christmas narrative is the Roman festival of Saturnalia, a week-long celebration honoring the god Saturn. Held in mid-December, Saturnalia was a time of feasting, gift-giving, and a temporary overturning of social norms. It was a joyous occasion where people gathered to revel in the warmth of community and the spirit of generosity. The winter solstice, another pivotal moment in ancient celebrations, marked the shortest day and longest night of the year. Cultures around the world, from the Norse celebrations to the festivals in ancient China, recognized the solstice as a turning point in the dark winter months. These festivities were deeply rooted in the symbolism of light, hope, and the promise of a new beginning. As Christianity began to take root, it encountered and absorbed various pagan traditions, reshaping them into a new narrative. Pagan practices, such as decorating homes with greenery, lighting candles, and celebrating the return of the sun, seamlessly integrated into the evolving Christmas story. The Yule Log, a symbol of warmth and light in Norse and Celtic traditions, found its way into the heart of Christmas celebrations, both as a practical source of heat and a symbol of hope during the dark winter nights. The symbolism of evergreen plants, like holly and mistletoe, became intertwined with Christmas, representing resilience, renewal, and the enduring spirit of life. These elements, rooted in the ancient pagan celebrations, added layers of meaning to the evolving Christmas traditions. As we explore the ancient roots of Christmas, it's essential to recognize the contributions of Eastern cultures. In ancient Rome, the cult of Mithras celebrated the birth of the sun god on December 25th, a date later adopted by Christians to commemorate the birth of Jesus. The merging of these traditions illustrates the fluid nature of cultural exchange during this period. Further east, in Persia, the festival of Yalda marked the winter solstice with night-long celebrations, emphasizing the triumph of light over darkness. This interplay of traditions from east to west, each with its unique customs and symbolism, played a crucial role in shaping the diverse tapestry of Christmas we know today. The ancient roots of Christmas, we've witnessed the intricate interweaving of cultural, pagan, and eastern influences. These ancient celebrations, marked by a spirit of togetherness, generosity, and the symbolism of light, laid the groundwork for the Christmas we celebrate today. Join us in the next segment as we continue our journey through time, exploring the Christian narrative and the profound impact it had on the evolution of Christmas. At the core of Christmas lies the sacred narrative of the Nativity, a story recounted in the Gospel of Luke and Matthew in the New Testament. The journey begins with Mary and Joseph, a humble couple from Nazareth, making their way to Bethlehem. The significance of Bethlehem, the city of David, adds a layer of historical and prophetic resonance to the story. Mary's miraculous conception, announced by the angel Gabriel, and the subsequent journey to Bethlehem are pivotal moments. The journey, often depicted in art and literature, symbolizes the humility and obedience of Mary and Joseph, setting the stage for the divine miracle that unfolds. In Bethlehem, the city of David, Mary gives birth to Jesus in a humble stable, surrounded by the rustic simplicity of a manger. This modest beginning, juxtaposed against the divine nature of the child, speaks to the essence of Christmas, the divine embracing the ordinary, the extraordinary born in the most humble of circumstances. The angelic proclamation to the shepherds, announcing the birth of the Savior, further emphasizes this theme of humility. The shepherds, considered lowly in society, become the first witnesses to the joyous news, underscoring the universality of Christ's message and his accessibility to all. The nativity story is enriched by the arrival of the Magi, often referred to as the three wise men or kings. Guided by a miraculous star, these learned men embark on a journey to pay homage to the newborn king. The symbolism of the star, a celestial sign in the heavens, reinforces the divine nature of the event. The gifts they bring gold, frankincense, and myrrh carry profound significance. Gold symbolizes kingship, frankincense represents divinity, and myrrh foretells the sacrificial nature of Jesus' future. These gifts foreshadow the life, mission, and destiny of the child they honor. 
At the heart of the Christian narrative is the concept of the Incarnation, the belief that in Jesus Christ, God became flesh. This theological cornerstone underscores the divine bridging the gap to commune with humanity. The Incarnation, celebrated at Christmas, emphasizes the intimacy of God's relationship with humanity and the profound act of love embodied in Christ's birth. The Incarnation also addresses the theological concept of redemption. The birth of Jesus heralds the beginning of a journey that leads to the ultimate sacrifice on the cross, symbolizing redemption and salvation for humanity. Christmas, then, is not merely a celebration of a historical event, but a profound theological reflection on the nature of God's love for humanity. Christmas traditions begin with one of the most iconic symbols of the season, the Christmas tree. Its origins can be traced back to Germanic pagan traditions, where evergreen trees were brought indoors to symbolize life during the winter months. As Christianity spread, the tree became a potent symbol of eternal life through Christ. In the 16th century, the tradition of decorating the Christmas tree gained popularity in Germany, with the addition of candles and edible decorations. This charming custom spread throughout Europe and eventually reached the shores of England, where it became a cherished part of Victorian Christmas celebrations. Another significant tradition that has stood the test of time is the Yule Log. With its roots in Norse and Celtic celebrations, the Yule Log represented the battle between the forces of light and darkness. Families would gather around the hearth, lighting the Yule Log and keeping it burning for 12 days to bring good fortune. As Christmas evolved, so did the art of decorating. What started with simple evergreen branches and candles on the Christmas tree transformed into a dazzling display of lights, ornaments, and tinsel. In the 19th century, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert popularized the decorated Christmas tree in England, influencing the trend across the Atlantic to the United States. Ornaments, once limited to edible treats and simple decorations, began to include intricate baubles, angels, and figurines. Tinsel, originally strands of real silver, brought a sparkling touch to the festivities. Today, the variety of decorations available allows individuals to express their unique styles while maintaining the spirit of the season. No exploration of Christmas traditions would be complete without delving into the enchanting figure of Santa Claus. The modern interpretation of Santa Claus has its roots in the legendary figure of Saint Nicholas, a 4th century bishop known for his generosity. Over the centuries, various cultures contributed to the evolution of this iconic figure. In the 19th century, the poem, A Visit from St. Nicholas, more commonly known as The Night Before Christmas, solidified the image of Santa as a jolly, rotund man with a white beard, red suit, and a penchant for delivering gifts on Christmas Eve. The Coca-Cola Company's marketing in the 1930s further popularized the modern image of Santa Claus that we recognize today. As Christmas traditions continued to evolve, they absorbed influences from various cultures around the world. From the multicultural celebrations of Diwali, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa to the incorporation of modern technology like twinkling LED lights and animated decorations, Christmas has become a truly global and technologically advanced celebration. Moreover, the tradition of gift-giving has reached new heights with the advent of online shopping, wish lists, and even virtual gift exchanges. While the essence of giving remains, the methods have adapted to the fast-paced, interconnected world we live in. Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, published in 1843, played a role in shaping the modern perception of Christmas as a time of generosity and gift-giving. The novella, while emphasizing the importance of love and compassion, also inadvertently contributed to the commercialization of the holiday by portraying the joy of exchanging presents. Gift-giving, a tradition with roots in the biblical story of the Magi bringing gifts to the newborn Jesus, has evolved into a cornerstone of the modern commercial Christmas. Retailers began to capitalize on this tradition, promoting the idea that the more one gives, the more meaningful the celebration becomes. The concept of gift-giving expanded beyond family and friends to include co-workers, acquaintances, and even pets. As we conclude our exploration of the origin and meaning of Christmas, it's clear that this holiday is a rich tapestry woven from various threads of history, religion, and culture. Whether you celebrate for religious reasons, cultural traditions, or the joy of giving, Christmas continues to be a time when people come together in the spirit of love and goodwill. Thank you for joining me on this festive journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, happy holidays.